Hey guys, Mark from 42freeway.com. It really did open the Missing Moves project through Belmar, the $180 million project to fill in those gaps that we could not drive for. You know, 42 has been open for almost 70 years and we could never go from 42 North to 295 South and then 295 north to 42 south just by on a highway you'd have to get off on the local roads it added a huge pain and time to uh, the commute so right now what you're seeing is i am driving on 55 north guys it's two lanes all the way through by the way i'm not holding a camera as i do this i have a gopro mounted to my car it's a it's a you know it's a product that mounts securely on there so it's a very safe driving conditions i'm doing here so this is 55 north this is a big impactful thing but i'll tell you Probably what the most surreal moment for me was in the other direction, and I focus so much on the 42 side, but when you're on 295 North coming up and to see a sign saying Atlantic City Expressway, Washington Township this way, and you realize, wow, for all these years, people down that way, even just in Westville, you get on the 295 North exit at Westville, you could not... You could not drive that uh, that direction. You could not be in Westville uh, at 47 and get on 295 and then just easily get to the Defert Mall, Washington Township, or down to the shore. All right, so here we are. Guys, this is 55 North. We're going up. Uh, someone called it the flyover. I love that term. So we're going up over the large hill. This used to be one lane for like 45 years or 40 years. This is one lane, 35 years. Here we are. We're still in two lanes. I'm on the right-hand side. What they've done is 42 North is three lanes all the way through. But where this now merges, it's not really a merge. They, they keep five lanes going in this area up until the missing moves ramp. So I'm going to stay in the right-hand lane. Uh, what you're going to see is I don't have to leave this lane. I'll be able to just travel right on through to get onto the new missing moves route. So I'm going, imagine this, I'm going 55 north, onto 42 right now. I think we're going over the turnpike here. And then I'm going to go right on the missing moves and find myself on 295 South. Um, in this area here, yes, there will be some movement because you could be in this right lane and decide, oh, I don't, I don't want to do this. Now watch this truck right here because this is a brand new roadway. He didn't know where he was going. He's like, oh, wait, this is, this, is, uh, this is the wrong place. Guys, here we are. If you look to the right, you'll see an action news van. There's that action news van. Um, we're going up. Now it goes into one lane as you go over missing moves. Right now, we are on the brand new highway, the Missing Moves Highway. To the right is the Belmar Industrial Park. Um, I will say, I think the speed limit's 55. This side going 42 north to 295 south, you probably can easily do 55 miles an hour. In the other direction, and we'll see it, uh, it's a little narrower, I think, and you're gonna be probably a little more comfortable going a little slower. But look at this, we are now up over top of Belmar. To the left of me is the Belmar Landfill. To the right is the little the little extra Belmar Industrial Park, like where the Cure Leaf facility is. Um, we're already approaching Creek Road. So I'm gonna share with you the second thing that kind of surprised me that I didn't expect, and it's also on the 295 side. We're gonna to get to that in a second. So now we got this bend. We're actually going over top of 295, and uh, we're coming down. Now this bridge that's going over top of us here, that is the Creek Road Bridge. This was rebuilt so that it was high enough. You can see the height there. Rebuilt so it was high enough to uh, allow traffic to pass underneath. Now, this is an area where I've been talking about they've, they've widened 295 here, and they actually had to rebuild all the bridges that go over the Timber Creek. Because look at this. I am in, this is a new lane too. 295 in this section is actually wider. So this is an acceleration lane. This is the wider bridge we're going over right now. Well, I'm on an acceleration lane so you can easily merge into 295 traffic. But watch what I do. I just stay here and boom. Guys, I'm in Westville. And this kind of hit home to me because, you know, one of our favorite places that we, we used to live in Belmar, my wife and I, we loved going to Chalene's. It was so close to us. And now we're in Belmar and we're down by like the five, I mean, we're in Denver, we're in the five points area. And it's just kind of a pain in the neck to get to Chalene's because you got to get off the highway in Belmar and drive through all the, guys, like literally, boom, I'm on Route 47. And Chalene's, if I just continued going, Chalene's is right there. Like, that is a huge, huge time saver for so many people. All right, now we're going to drive missing moves in the opposite direction. I am on 47 South. This is the Westville area. Um, we're going to get on 295 North here. And I was just saying, um, you know, I didn't really consider how advantageous this, this new missing moves will be to folks in Westville, down that end of, you know, Brooklawn, um, you know, just that general area, even the Woodbury area where you could just pop on 295 and... On a highway, boom, you're at the Defert Mall, 
You're on your way to the Atlantic City Expressway. You're on your way down to Washington Township. Like, just things like if you're in the area of, um, again, I'll talk about Shaleen's, one of my favorite bars. Uh, you're in the area of Shaleen's. Like, if you wanted to get to the mall, you're pretty much just driving uh, the local roads, 47 South, and, you know, doing different things like that. Now you can, well, look at this. This, this kind of hit home to me when I saw this. So here we are, 295 North. Um, guys, look at the sign. Washington Township, Atlantic City. So, right, that's it's pretty cool. Like, you just could not do that. I don't know why I'm so excited about this. So I'm in the far right lane. We're going to ride the, the missing moves now from 295 North to 42 South. Um, so one thing about this, 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 this side, you're going to see it. It's a little more narrower over here because um, I think part of the reason is there's some buildings along Creek Road in Belmar, and they didn't have a lot of room unless they went to destroy. You know, tear the buildings down. So it's a little narrower. It's a little tighter on the turns. You're probably going to find yourself doing 45 miles an hour. Look at this. We're in a dedicated uh, lane here to just go right up. Now we're going up the ramp on missing moves. To the right of me is those buildings I was talking about that ride along um, Creek Road. And then here's the turn. You can see how it's a little narrower. There's some aspects. It reminds me a little bit of um, over in Philadelphia. There's some aspects of uh, I-95, or you know, when you're getting off to get to the Ben Franklin Bridge, it's a little tight like that. But we're, we're right now on the core Missing Moves Roadway. This is 295 North going to 42 South. The landfill is to my right. This is a little bit of a shorter ride. I think the, uh, the other direction that we just previously did is, is about a mile. This is a little bit shorter because it's on sort of the inside of the curve. And there it is. There's 42 North. All those headlights, that's the traffic in the morning heading to work towards uh, Philadelphia and Cherry Hill. We're down at the bottom now on the Missing Moves Project, cruising, uh, you know, picking up a little bit of speed. This is what I talk about when I say acceleration lanes. We've got an opportunity here to accelerate, to get up to speed. This lane does end, though, so you do need to merge over to the left. Maybe there should be some signage there for that. Uh, it's not, it wasn't very clear to me, and I, I'm looking at it now. I didn't see that, but you have to merge over to the left. And then we're going to get to the area where if you want to continue down 42, yes, you got to start scooting over here. Or in my case, um, it's just it's just convenient for me to go to 55 South. So again, let me repeat that because I, I focus so much on the 42 side. For those folks down in, down 95 South of 95, Westville, West Effort, Paulsburg, Delaware, like think of what we're doing here. You're going to be able to get on the highway at 295, drive on the Missing Moves Project, and boom, you're on your way to Wildwood. You're on your way to Cape May. That's a huge savings. So I'm going to be back again in the daylight, do another run in the daylight, but I wanted to get a video online at, at, you know, early, as early as possible. What to be first? Um, but I also have, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a video. I have, guys, as you know, I've archived this project from pretty much the beginning with drone footage, and I'm going to um, try to put something together that just shows progression through the project, and I'm going to have some more commentary and another story about like what this project means to uh, the commuters in South Jersey and beyond. Hey, thanks. Mark from 42freeway.com.